he was heir to one of the longest reigning dictators in the world. Saif islams father, Muammar Gaddafi, ruled oil-rich Libya for nearly half a century. He was ousted by a NATO coalition in 2011 after Arab Spring protests broke out across the country. Gaddafi was captured and killed by a rebel faction while his son was imprisoned by another group. Last year, Saif al-Islam was released as part of an amnesty. Now he says he'll run for president. The election is expected to be held this year and it's hoped it will end the Libyan civil war, which began with the end of Gaddafi's rule. Gaddafi's legacy continues to divide Libyans. During his reign, Libya was one of the richest Arab states. It had foreign currency reserves worth $150 billion and no external debt. Education and health care were free, and Libya had a 90% literacy rate, the third highest in Africa. But it was also one of the most repressive countries in the world, with thousands of political prisoners. And the powerful people arrayed around Gaddafi controlled most of the oil wealth, leading to massive unemployment. Those frustrations were a key trigger for the protests, which later turned into an armed uprising. The West was initially reluctant to intervene, until a French-led diplomatic effort led to NATO airstrikes backing the rebels. Now, control of Libya is contested between two main factions. The UN-backed Government of National Accord is led by Prime Minister Fayyaz al-Siraj. It's based in Tripoli. The Libyan National Army is led by former Gaddafi general Khalifa Haftar. It controls eastern Libya. A new peace initiative backed by French President Emmanuel Macron wants the two sides to support elections in 2018, as fears persist about the return of Daesh to the country. Meanwhile, Saif al-Islam is manoeuvring to re-enter the political arena. Could he emerge as a key player in a divided Libya? Shweb Hassan, the newsmakers.